How can we find the value of a to the power x, where x is an irrational number? For example, what is 2 to the power pi? The normal definition of a to the power n, when n is a positive integer, is a multiplied by itself n times. But how can we multiply 2 by itself pi times? If you try this in a calculator, you will get something like 8.824. How does it get that answer? In this video, we will look at how we can define and calculate the value of a raised to an irrational power. This will rely on a few things that we covered in earlier videos. There are links to these videos in the description below. Raising a number a to a positive integer power n is straightforward. As we said before, it is simply a multiplied by itself n times. So a to the power 2 is a times a, a to the power 3 is a times a times a, and so on. Raising a to the power 1 over n is slightly more tricky. When we multiply exponential terms together, we add the exponents. So if we multiply a to the power 1 over n by itself n times, we get a. That is because adding 1 over n together n times gives 1. So a to the power 1 half is the square root of a, a to the power 1 third is the cube root of a, and so on. Finally, raising a to any rational power m over n is equivalent to finding the nth root of a to the power m. If we want to find 2 to the power pi, we face a problem. Since pi is irrational, we can't express it as a fraction m over n. This means that we can't raise 2 to an integer power and then find an integer root. This applies to many other cases. For example, 10 to the power e, where e is Euler's number, or 3 to the power of the square root of 5, because root 5 is irrational. There is a possible solution to find an approximation to the value of 2 to the power pi. We could use a rational approximation to pi to perform the calculation. We could approximate pi as 3. This means that 2 to the pi is approximately 2 cubed, which is 8. This very approximate value is not too far away from the number we obtained with the calculator. A slightly better approximation would be 31 over 10. This is 3.1, which is pi to one decimal place. Since this is a rational number, we can calculate the value of 2 to the power 31 over 10. It is the tenth root of 2 to the power 31. This gives us a slightly better answer. Even better would be 314 over 100, or 3.14 which is also a rational number that is even closer to pi. We could choose a rational number that is equal to pi to p decimal places. For a large enough value of p, the approximation can get as close to pi as we like. The main problem with this approach is that it is extremely impractical, even for quite a small number of decimal places. For example, if we try to use pi to 8 decimal places, we would need to raise 2 to a power of over 314 million, and then take the 100 million through to the result. The problem here is that 2 to the power of 314 million is quite a large number. It is an integer with about 100 million digits. It is far larger than a calculator or most computer programming languages can deal with. To print this value out would take 20,000 sides of A4 paper. We can't really work with such a large number. So in theory, we can use this method to find the value of 2 to the power pi to any required precision. But in practice, it isn't really very useful. The exponential function is e to the power x, where e is Euler's number. The useful thing about the exponential function is that it can be expressed as a Maclaurin expansion like this. This series allows us to calculate an approximate value of e to the x for any value of x. 
The exponential function has some useful properties. It is a continuous function. This means that it can accept any value of x, even an irrational number like pi or the square root of 5. It converges quite quickly, which means you can calculate a reasonable approximation using just a few terms. And it doesn't involve any ridiculously large numbers. This means that we can easily calculate e to the power pi. But what if we want to calculate 2 to the power pi? It is possible to change the base of a power using this formula. This works for any positive values of a and b other than 1. So to find 2 to the power pi, we use these values. a, the initial base, is 2. x, the exponent, is pi. And b, the base we are converting to, is e. Also remember that the logarithm function with base e is called the natural logarithm and is usually written as ln. This gives us an expression for 2 to the pi. This can be calculated by plugging the value of pi times log of 2 into the Maclaurin series given earlier. More importantly, this allows us to define a to the power x as the exponential of x times the natural log of a. This works for any x. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.